There were a lot of quality of life changes added to Star Citizen in patch 3.10, but the change that I found to be the most impactful is one that people really aren't that pleased with, and it's delivery mission improvements. In 3.9, and since these missions have been available, each mission would provide one box, and you take it from point A to point B. The devs had to notice how anyone who would take part in these missions loved to stack them together and make it more efficient. With the changes in 3.10, the dev team basically did this for us. Now for each mission, we have to deliver three boxes, either picking them up from one location and dropping them off at three different ones, or picking them up at three different locations and dropping them off at a single location. All for 4,000 credits per mission, not per box. Also, unlawful missions have now changed as well. Instead of delivering illegal goods from planet to planet, you are part of the drug crafting process, bringing raw materials to the lab, taking the refined material to another location to be processed, and finally, you are the delivery person who will drop a complete bag of drugs in an inconspicuous location for 6,000 credits per mission, plus bonuses, which I have not been able to achieve yet. So why do I like these so much? You can see the future in these missions, and you can see that the effort was made to improve these missions before we insert the dynamic mission system into the game. The ability to scale these missions up, carry more boxes, and over longer distances is where I think they might try to go in later patches. I'm not really paying as much attention to the payouts, I'm more focused on the updates made to what we had before in terms of how these missions work. The missions added to 3.10 are the entry-level deliveries that in previous patches were 1100 Alpha UEC payout for one box, and they weren't that abundant. There may have been two available at any given time. They're considered entry-level because you never travel to another planet or its surrounding locations. All of the new missions are around the planet you're near, and there are max of six you can accept at any one time, and they pay more for less work. So why are people upset? In 3.9, delivery missions were really good value in terms of Alpha UEC per hour. You can make 90,000 doing unlawful missions, and you can make at least 50,000 per hour with the lawful varieties because they had missions that paid 8,000 per with a long travel time between planets. Those will be back. There is a 0% chance that we won't have deliveries that go from one planet, Crusader for example, to Microtech and pay a lot more than 4,000. On top of that, Plan for the next patch is something that can tie into this system and likely bring deliveries back to the fold in terms of Alpha UEC per hour, which is cargo decks. What we know about these so far is that their locations on the space stations above planets and at Lagrange points around the system that is the one-stop shop for anything related to cargo. Players should be able to buy and sell cargo, get missions, interact with mission givers, stockpile commodities for buy and hold investments, rent and purchase cargo equipment and ships, and many other activities. But what I see for these locations in relation to delivery style missions is these are depots. How deliveries work in the real world is the delivery driver picks up a load from a depot, distributes those packages on a route. I can see missions where you pick up 10 plus boxes, drop them off at these decks for a decent wage. If you haven't seen it yet, in the 3.11 roadmap, is hinting at a possibility of providing us with a tool to carry large and maybe multiple boxes on a float or a dolly or whatever you may call it where you live. In the end, more is coming and this is not the end for delivery missions. This is only the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment below and maybe share the video with anybody who you think might enjoy it. And if you have not yet, make sure you hit subscribe for more Star Citizen videos from me. And lastly, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash saltymike. We stream every day but Monday starting at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.